Okay, this is the Jenkins uh, GSOC office hours. Um, today is Thursday, June 20th. And per the usual, we will start with the uh, contributors uh, updates, any challenges, any roadblocks, anything keeping you up at night. Um, and if you feel confident, you feel happy, do share with us as well. We'd like to know how you're doing. We want to make sure that you're doing okay. Um, and then the last item I have is our uh, midterm evaluation. Um, well, it's midterm Jenkins online meetup presentation uh, for in the next couple of weeks. So I will be working on that and we'll share with you all um, the links to it so you can help to um, add your content to it. So we'll talk more about that as we get to the end. But for right now, let's go ahead and start with Shlomo for um, the Infra Statistics UI. So this week and last week, um, I think the main focus was just setting up the CI pipeline. So our repo now is looking a lot more like production ready. There's um, a lot of automated tests and all that kind of stuff that when you make PRs, it checks for. And there are also some bots that we've set up that kind of check for like dependencies, all these issues. So just in general, the, the repository just looks way more organized and, and ready for production. And then other than that, there's just been um, like further UI, UX updates. So just improving the, the overall look and feel of the site and adding more features. Oh, nice. How are you feeling? And How are you uh, about feeling the really good? I think it's it's going really well and I think we're on track still. So yeah, there hasn't been any major roadblocks this week. So everything's looking good. Awesome. So Bruno, I see you're adding stuff to it. Did you want to add anything else? Uh, no, no, not really. Uh, and I don't know why this is of this strange green sauge color. Uh, whatever. No, no, everything looks great. Uh, the infra team made um, a great work in enhancing the existing repository. Uh, the PRs are flying. I would say we sell, we see lots of PRs. So uh, it's getting better and better because um, in the previous week, maybe Shlomo was doing uh, making some slightly too big PRs. And mm. now uh, it's easier for the maintainers to review how the PRs are much more uh, reasonable in size. So I would say we, we no, Shlomo, uh, <laughs> Rich is a uh, cruising speed and uh, everything is going well. All right, awesome. Good to hear. Um, you. Anything you wanna add, Chris, as a mentor, as a lead mentor? Okay, I think uh, probably it's been fine, like, except for a few hiccups regarding the CI CD pipeline setup. Uh, but I think that settled most of the items in the list to be done for the CI CD pipeline. It's um, finished. So it's only my issues remaining for the team to pick up. Okay. UI, UX wise, like um, for, for the first two pages, we have done quite well. So, also, like, I think I've seen some feedback from someone not in the community about yes. um, uh, the repo. Mm. Or maybe some code, uh, um, some part of the act, at least. But I think it's too early to address them. So I'll leave them as is now, and we'll do them later. OK. Yeah. Sounds Great. wise to me. Yes, uh, but that's a good sign. If people are interested in this project, uh, as it's not finished yet, it's just the beginning, that's pretty promising. Or maybe yeah. just a coincidence, I don't know, but I prefer to be hopeful. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I agree, Bruno. So, all right. So, um, Dan Yang? Yes. And in this week, uh, I already done with the updated teams when pull request that the modified YAML file is merged. And now I'm working on that the ensure the team member corresponds with, with the those who list in the YAML file. 
and uh, also um, after our the group meeting, I am now working on adding a readme file to make the project easier to understand. And the next week, I will try to integrate my work with the existing RPU framework. And uh, after this uh, yesterday group meeting, and uh, we have the talking about discussion about the my project project. So um, from now on, the everything is good and uh, no current challenge for me. Okay, good to hear that. Alex, welcome back. How are you doing? Uh, hello, I'm doing fine. We some Sometimes we have still um, electric shortcuts and outages, but mm. the internet works somewhat off again. And I think you can see me without moving in very slow frames. So I think we are on a good track and good. weather is getting better. So that is awesome. Good. Um, if you, if I can say a few words to sure, Dan Jan's yes. project. Uh, yes, yeah. please. Yesterday we had the first meeting after a couple of weeks where I wasn't available. Mm -hmm. um, Philip and Dan Jan reported back to me what they bespoke with Bruno and Chris during the time I wasn't available. And Dan Young created an organization outside of Thinking CI organization where the test repository lives in and we can make changes to and let's say mess with things without breaking the existing Jenkins CI infrastructure. Okay. Nice. Was that it? Is there anything else? Mm, not in particular, no. Okay. All right. Well, glad to have you back and safe. Okay, so then Philip, um, your turn. Yeah, um, I got some feedback and communication with Alex. Um, he is also in the same meeting with uh, Tim uh, about my PR feedback and I currently put press on that to handle that. And I have already introduced some testing framework, um, what we're using now in the future for the RPU. And also I have already um, started with some tuner tests for the next two PRs. They're already open, but still on draft because I am depending on the first one. Um, everything works fine. Just some work over to need to continue. Okay. Um, anything else you want to add to that, Alex? Philip summed it up pretty well. I okay. think he rose four or five PRs to the RPU so far. We have reviewed them and Tim commented on the choice of his testing framework. But given there is no pre-existing testing framework, we agreed on that Philip can introduce anything that he thinks is the best fit for the project. Okay. Cool. Um, Sridhar. Yeah. So, hello everyone. So, Hi. in the past week, this I had a I had a roadblock. So, which which is parsing using a different uh, different kind of uh, XML file instead of parsing using the open rate parser. So, this week I've just completed the parsing by implementing this open rate parser. And then the second thing is I'm just currently working on the transformer. So, which might which probably might use this Maven invoker. So, which ultimately redu reduces the re-implementation of existing code from the open rate thing. And at last, yeah, we have currently having discussions with Steve Hill and Open Red team for reusing the existing uh, recipes from their Open Red platform to to us. Yeah, that's it from my side. Great, thank you. Anything you'd like to add, Valen um, Valentin? Um, yes, perhaps on the last point, uh, the importance also to open uh, communication to make sure that uh, when we communicate with other communities to to do it uh, in an open channel and avoid one-to-one -one, uh, communication, especially during this uh, GSOC uh, phase. Yeah, agree. 
but Okay. except uh, that nothing uh, nothing to add it's going uh, good at the moment we had to iterate a few times uh, on uh, the best way to implement those uh, those recipe but uh, i think we are going on the on the good uh, direction uh, now Great. Good to hear that. All right. Um, so last person is Noor. Okay. Hey, everyone. Um, yeah, for my side, for this week, I was working on the evaluation of the model uh, using some evaluation me common metric and some additional packages like dbval. Uh, so what I'm looking for is... Um, um, the benchmarks provided and make sure uh, if that will be helpful or not. Uh, we also working on the interacting with the model. Uh, so for now, I'm trying to uh, I'm trying integrating um, with language chain and considering the history part of the chat as well. Um, things are take, taking much time, uh, just like any other machine learning uh, projects. Uh, and in parallel, we agreed that uh, I'll be working on the software part of the model uh, to make sure that we have friendly UI to interact with. So I started working on it a bit uh, in parallel. And um, there is no huge update for the software part. I'm just starting to structure things and uh, using React and Vite and TypeScript. Uh, and yeah, that's um, all I have from my side. And I believe everything is going well for so far for this point. Okay. Good to hear. Thank you. Um, and then Chris, anything you want to add? Um, not much, except I'm looking forward to like seeing the code for the software part. Nice. Progress. Yeah. yeah. We're looking forward to that as well. Um, so for my piece, we had discussed some time back that um, we would do a midterm Jenkins online meetup um, in early July. So what that means for our mentors is that, that uh, you will be required to fill out a midterm evaluation. Um, you should have that in your Google portal. So if you need assistance, please reach out to me. I'd be happy to help. Um, and then for our GSOC contributors, it's the Jenkins online meetup. It's what it basically says. It's, it's an online um, meetup, right? So we have a bunch of previous events here. You can take a look at previous years um, GSOC events. And about this time frame, we have a, um, a presentation. It runs for one hour, and uh, we present, or you guys present, what your status is with regards to the project ideas that you're working on. So you can take a look specifically. This is, oh, um, oof. Why did that happen? Never mind. I don't have that right now. Um, so you can take a look at this link here and um, see what was done last year. And I've shared the slides for last year's um, midterm as well. So this year, we will pretty much be doing the same format. The only difference are the project ideas. And you guys are different contributors. But the layout of the hour, you can pretty much expect the same thing. Um, so no surprises, right? So I will start the um, the slide template and um, I'll give you guys the deadline as well when we should have this um, slide completed. So, um, you know, be, uh, be on the lookout for it. And, um, you know, I think each person will have about, uh, say, 15 or 10 minutes presentation. This year, we have five of you, so we may need to adjust the time, but I'll, I'll let you know how much time you have and, um, you know, what kind of content you want to present. Okay, so take a look at the slide deck here um, just to give you an idea of the lay of the land. 
Um, and then, you know, take a look at the online meetup, the recording as well. And I'll add the recording to this link too. Um, so just to give you an idea. All right. So does anybody have anything else that they like to add? No? Okay. Um, we have about 15 minutes left. So we'll give you back 15 minutes of your day and uh, we'll talk again next week. Thanks a lot, Teresa. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.